Narottam Das Thakur composed the prayer to the departed Vaishnavas. Jayanilo Premadana Karuna Prachur. This prayer where Srila Narottam Das Thakur is weeping, crying in a most spiritually pathetic condition upon the separation from a great devotee of the Lord. In the separation of a great devotee like Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj, many of us feeling very lost, very empty, but in that emptiness, we are seeking shelter of his association within our hearts. And in that seeking shelter, we can find in the sweetest way, in the deepest way, the association of Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj. This is the essential theme of Narottam Das Thakur's beautiful prayer. He cries that he's beating his head against a stone in separation from a Vaishnavas. And Narottam Das Thakur, he lists many of the great devotees who he's feeling separation from because this is the principle of parampara that when we serve our spiritual master when we serve a great vaishnav we're actually serving all the great vaishnavas from the time of krishna through our parampara and when we're feeling separation from our beloved gurus, we're actually experiencing separation from all those departed associates of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Because the guru is representing the divine grace, the mercy of all the previous acharyas. The guru is giving us the gifts of divine love the philosophy of the highest liberation on behalf of all the previous acharyas. And whatever we offer to the spiritual master, the spiritual master is accepting it on behalf of all the previous acharyas. So yes, in, in feeling separation at this time from His Holiness Bhakti Charu Swami Maharaj, our separation for Srila Prabhupada, our separation for all the previous acharyas, the six Goswamis of Brindaban, Lord Chaitanya's associates, they are all accepting that mood of love of separation. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu especially emphasized the importance of love in separation, union in separation. For the last 12 years of his life in this world, Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu um, tasted the sweetness of this vipralamba bhav, viraha bhav, love in separation. And we read in Sri Chaitanya Charita Amrita that you know, devotees were often very much worried for the Lord because how he was crying and how he was even sometimes apparently depriving his physical body in that separation. But yet we learn that it was the peak of his ecstasies. When Krishna left Brindaban, the Brijabhasis, the Gopas, and the Gopis, 
how they cried in separation. Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami tells that after Lord Sri Krishna went to Mathura with Akrura and then later went to Dwaraka, the gopis and the gopas of Vrindavan, they cried for the rest of their lives. This crying is an emotion. It's an offering of love. At the same time, we know that it's very different from the crying of separation in this material world. The pathetic um, emotions of losing a loved one physically in this world is very much lamenting over the end of a connection, the end of a relationship. But in Krishna consciousness, we know that we are eternal spirit souls, part and parcel of Krishna. And the Vaishnavas, our gurus, our Krishna's most beloved representatives entrusted with Krishna's grace. And at the time of separation, Srila Prabhupada explains it, that for a great Vaishnav, the appearance and the disappearance are the same. A devotee appears in this world to spread Krishna consciousness and really never disappears, but simply enters into Krishna's pastimes according to wherever Krishna wants that devotee to be. Srila Prabhupada emphasized the idea of Vapu and Vani, that Vapu is the physical association with our spiritual masters, with our beloved Vaishnavas, and that Vapu is only for a very short time. And the examples illustrated by the way a devotee lives and the words that that devotee speaks is the true presence. That's the true spirit. And that is never lost. Srila Prabhupada when he was in his closing pastimes in this world, he taught so many lessons. There's a beautiful story that one of his devotees who was a scientist came to see Srila Prabhupada in his last weeks. And at that time, Srila Prabhupada was so emaciated physically and the devotee was very broken hearted to see Srila Prabhupada in that condition, which is natural. But Srila Prabhupada smiled. He said, I have been teaching that we are not these bodies, that we're eternal spirit souls, we're eternal servants of Krishna. And now my body is dwindling but I am the same. And what Srila Prabhupada was really saying is that the physical body of the spiritual master is a vehicle for his divine presence in our hearts to inspire us to follow the teachings and the example he's given. And when we take shelter of the example and teachings, then the spiritual master lives within our hearts forever. And we can feel that. Still, this crying, this sense of loss is the pastime of the Lord to help us to go deeper and deeper and deeper into the remembrance, the absorption, and the shelter 
of the Vani, of the words of the spiritual master. And that is where our gurus truly live personally. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.